102.1 The Edge. It's not on them yet, so we're not going to be quite cannibalized. But Dime Mannequin are here, and they're going to open the show. The doors for the show open at 5 o'clock. They're going to take the stage at 6. The whole band's here. So left to right, care, say, tell everyone who you are and what you do in the band. I'm uh, Tony, <laughs> and I play the bass on a good day. I'm a uh, care failure, and um, I do my hair on a good day. My name's Piss Pat. Alleys. I'm Pat. I play drums, and I like turtles. <laughs> and I'm and and I'm the guy whose name is Sucker, not Tucker. So, uh, <laughs> Care, Pat, and Tony are all here, left and right across the radio dial. You guys have a great rock sound. It's a it's 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 a three piece, but it sounds big and huge because the energy comes roaring out of it. Cool. That happens. And uh, <laughs> and uh, your uh, your first four songs uh, were awesome, and you got a chance to work with uh, with with Mr. Jess Keeler on that one. He did and LP a, and he and LP the Mastercraft team, and they did a great job on it. Now you've gone back in the studio with a guy who's a little bit responsible. Responsible for filling this building tonight, Ian Desa. <laughs> uh, how was it working with uh, with the Billy Talent guitarist in the studio? Uh, he's really stuck up and horrible. It was. <laughs> well, it was not. That's a his hair. Experience. I asked about his personality. All the rock star oh, oh, oh. primping and now yeah. he's awesome. Uh, it's, it's hard he demanded like eight cheeseburgers before he? he would even <laughs> sit down. Uh, Gavin Brown taught him that. Oh yeah, that is. Yeah, that was Gavin actually. <laughs> oh, uh. No, he's awesome <laughs> though. He's obviously uh, a huge music fan and a great. He, um, he's got great ears, you know. And he understands yeah, tones. If you listen yes. to their records, yes. you understand the tones. Yeah. And like, I think his his greatest strength, and you don't always get this with producers, is he understands what he understands how to engineer records, how to hang mics, and how to get tones. Yes. He's learned Sonically. that. He's, certainly, he's learned that, and that's a great attribute. If he can help you yeah. guys and yeah. other bands do that. Yeah. He, I think, has a very very long career in this. Yeah. So, Sonic world. So we've got a new EP coming out, and that's coming out in September. We just we've been haggling over release date here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you know. So. I'm the last to know. <laughs> yeah, we don't really know stuff like that. <laughs> it's okay. It'll just show up in the stores. <laughs> sure. uh, and maybe you can help do, uh, either debunk a, a rumor or a myth, or or, or help, help add to it. But as we've been talking about some some, as people are just getting to know you as a band, you've had an opportunity to play for some great with some great bands. What was the night like? Um, well, for Guns well, N' Roses, the first, ACC. Like their band, was, the backup band, which yeah. is basically Nine Inch Nails, right. is like so amazing and. So on and so, right. you know. Was Tommy Simpson there them. that night too? Was yeah. Yes, he's, yeah. he's, he's a great guy. Did really cool. he tell yeah. you any replacement stories or anything? Or? No, no. Yeah. But he watched all the shows and yeah. Yeah, they is, were yeah. rad, you know. And I guess like when you're a big rock star, you don't, you know, you, you have things like traveling in your jet and right. you know, not having to hang out there all day and wait around for sound check. You can just show up right before you play and right. go on. But Tony, maybe you'll feel the little. Okay, so the quick story. Here's is, Tony. It wasn't in Toronto. It was a few days, a few days into the tour. <laughs> And the general rule, unspoken, is no touching Axel. Right, no, uh, right. you can look at him, but you can't touch him. So right. he's coming off stage. Would you like, want Good it? show, man. And I gave him a slap on the shoulder. <laughs> he was cool with it, but a half hour later, the security had me by the neck against the wall. No touching Axel. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, you're the reason the Legion closed down, aren't you? <laughs> you know, Tony? <laughs> you're going to make a lot of new fans tonight. Hopefully. So uh, so turn the amps up loud and uh, continue rocking, in uh, this case, the not-so-free world. Okay? <laughs> <laughs>